I think it's made him personally more confident, definitely, and so happy. I think it's something that they'll, they'll have with him forever now. I just think it's a fantastic introduction to eventually being able to swim. <laughs> Many parents assume they won't be taking their baby to the swimming pool until they're at least six months old. But in fact, it's never too soon to introduce your baby to the water. <laughs> Babies can play and exercise in water safely and confidently from birth. Through a program of carefully structured exercises, this video will introduce you and your baby to water in a safe and fun way. These exercises were designed by Lauren Heston, one of the most experienced and best known teachers in Britain. For over 15 years, Lauren has been running a program of classes called Little Dippers. These classes build on baby's natural affinity to water and what is known as the dive reflex, a natural reflex which enables all of us to hold our breath when submerged. We're teaching water safety to children so that if they should ever fall in, they would stand a fighting chance. We teach them how to come up and back float, or when they're a little bit older, how to turn around back to the side they've come in from and hopefully reach the side and hold on. Hold on. <laughs> The Little Dippers programme of exercises also introduces babies to the benefits of an active lifestyle, such as a stronger heart and lungs, improved agility and coordination and mental alertness. Tragically, every year babies die from drowning in the bath, ponds, pools or the sea, usually because they panic. The Little Dippers programme uses the techniques of word association, repetition and structured learning to help babies feel safe in water. These exercises give children confidence in the water and can prevent them from panicking if they fall in. Ready? Go. The benefits of these exercises are clear to neuropsychologist Susan Childs. Well, one of the main reasons why children have problems in water and to drown in water is panic. I think the most important thing really is helping children to socialise to water or the water experience so that they're more likely not to panic and if you don't panic you're less likely to drown. Yay! Yeah. Uh, I've got two sons who are both sort of either done or doing the programme and neither of them have any fear of water whatsoever so they can fall over in the bath and they don't get freaked out and um, even sort of swimming with friends or whatever, they just seem totally confident in the water. I wanted to take him swimming and I wanted something really structured and I just really like the idea of him going underwater and not being scared to get his face wet or, you know, just not worrying about being splashed and that kind of thing. I've always been a keen swimmer. Um, I'm confident in the water and I just think it's really important that uh, babies become confident with the water as early as possible. <laughs> The main ingredient for it to work is to give them fun so that when they come into the pool they know they're going to have a really good time. We want to start class with very young children to introduce them to the water um, before fear developed to introduce them to the joy of the water and to safety skills a long time before they can do conventional swimming. For me, it was a good opportunity to spend a bit of time bonding during the classes and to be honest, she, she just seems to love it. And then I, I suppose the water safety aspect was also a big thing. Uh, both my wife and I both love swimming and, uh, and it just seemed like it was a great idea. We'd never even thought really that you could introduce babies to the water so early. Well, I don't know what the statistics are, but you hear that there's a very high number of babies that that can drown in such a small amount of water and obviously the accidents in the bath and the amount of children that you hear that have fallen in ponds and things. And so I just think it's hugely important to, to make sure that he is confident around water, but he has the respect for water as well and he knows what can happen. <laughs> 